Okay, you have to know these three trick expressions. First one, sine of x to a negative 1. Written with the parentheses like this, negative 1 power is only for the x. So this means you are going to do the 1 over x inside of the sine. So this is sine of 1 over x. And then you are done. Now, we have sine of x inside of the parentheses and then raised to a negative first power. You put this down to the denominator. So you have 1 over sine x. And this right here simplifies to just call secant x. That's the definition of that, right? Lastly, when you have a negative 1 right here without any parentheses or whatnot, this right here is the inverse sine function or also known as the arc sine function. What this means is that if today you have an angle theta being equal to arc sine of x, then this right here is equivalent to say sine of theta is equal to x. And of course, there are some domain issues, but this video is too short for that, so that's it.